good afternoon everybody um all is well sort of with the world um a few hiccups nothing but we won't face we won't sort um anyway i i wanted to come on and say something let me start it with this when you are a parent mother or father you want the best for your children you want the very best you would do anything to help them get to where they want to go you would lay down your life for them throughout their life however old they are you would lay down your life for them there's nobody more important as your kids get older they choose a, a lifelong partner hopefully you will come to like and then to love as happened with us that lifelong partner and again you would lay down your life so that their lives could be perfect if children come along again you would do the same you want them to do well you would and i have attacked physically or otherwise anybody who attempted to hurt yours anybody but some children don't have that some children i was one of them are kicked out of the care system i was kicked out when i was 15 with my little bag of clothes like a olivia twist and sent back to live with my mother who wasn't in when i got there so i had to wait on the doorstep but i was one of the lucky ones because i had a mother and i had a support system of a type in place I went for a job interview the following day um, as it happened in a factory where um, one of my sisters worked and I remember the lovely man doing the interview said a girl like you doesn't want to be in the factory come and work in the office as our office junior and that's where I started um, I didn't go back home till after lunchtime or lunchtime and my mum said where have you been and i said i've started work i've got to go back in 20 minutes or so so that was i was lucky but as i say some kids aren't that lucky some kids will drift onto the street because they've got nothing else they aren't qualified to do a job of work nobody will take them on um there if they're lucky to get an address it will be with the ymca or an organization of that ilk they will meet other people like them drifters alone in the world not knowing where to turn they are easy prey for predators who are not on the lookout for these children children of 15, 16, 17 and younger even if they haven't been kicked out of the care system if they're still in the care system but have gone on the run as I did for six weeks because they can't tolerate it there again luckily I had a support system Many of those kids don't and they end up sleeping on the streets. Um, again, maybe being targeted by a sexual abuser, a trafficker or a pimp. So, it came as something of a shock to me this morning 
to um i'm sorry i'm sitting on a stand aren't i because i'm leaning on this cushion um it came as something of a shock to hear about kaya simons and her husband is a terence simons who um kaya did a a, a live stream lasting 40 minutes in which she said um, three things. One, she's got a story to tell. Two, it's not her story to tell. Three, the story will be told on Sunday by the person, i.e. her husband, whose story it is. It took her 40 minutes to say that. Could all be said in just five minutes, couldn't it? Or in the community post. But some people don't miss an opportunity to gain views when they've got a call to say. Now, I've, I don't think I've ever said anything nasty about Kaya. And I did say this morning in a, a what stream that uh, Kaya's not a bad person. I think I've changed my mind after listening to her defend her husband and not only defend her husband to apportion blame to the child who he was convicted of abusing of pimping goats. You know these men who are on the streets and yes I worked in um, a a hostel, a women's aid hostel, where um, it was the mother and up to two children, each mother, who stayed there and until they could get counselling, get accommodation given to them out of the area where their abuser wouldn't be able to find them. Unfortunately, a lot of them gave said abuser the address. Um, and so we had a lot of midnight calls and bangs on doors and windows. And a lot of the women went back. It's like the Stockholm sy Syndrome. They either think they're in love with the person, they are infatuated with the person, they think the person has got nothing but their best interests at heart, even though the bruises on their body tell a different story. Um, and they think they can't cope without said abuser, which of course they could. It's just breaking, breaking that link. And sometimes it's just very difficult to do that. And it's heartbreaking to see them go back. So this morning, Kaya was in Airwatt's uh, live stream talking about this man saying he picked her up from the floor, he picked her up from the floor, he picked her up from the floor. How many times do we need to hear that phrase? He picked you up from the floor. Yes, we get it. He helped you and you were in a bad place. But he didn't help others, did he? He didn't pick them up off the floor. Or if he did, he only picked them up like a rag doll to screw them and to put them on the streets to earn money for him. Disgusting man. He himself came on to um, Airwatts Live to try and... No, he didn't need to defend himself, really, because what he was actually doing was blaming the victims. No blame should be attached to him because the victims, the children, chose that way of life. Therefore, he was accommodating it. And yet he was making money off them. Which, and Kai was agreeing with all this. She was going along with it. The victims, the children, were to blame for being pimped out and sexually abused. And the things that goes on with um, sexually abused children child prostitution, 
young adults, prostitution, trafficking. It's horrific. Ever watch Tim Ballard? The um, Operation Underground Railroad where they get the kids out of countries where the trafficking is just horrendous. It's another version of that, what happens to kids on the streets of the US and the UK and other Western countries. It's not acceptable wherever it happens. Are you listening, Kaya? Not acceptable wherever it happens. Which leads me to this. No apology was made from him as to I was in a bad place. I shouldn't have done what I've done. I'll be paying for it for the rest of my life. I pray to God to forgive me. None of that. Because the arrogant piece of shit didn't want forgiveness. He didn't feel he needed forgiveness because he hasn't done anything wrong. Kai was agreeing with him, which leads me to wonder, the 12 years they've been together, wonder what he does for a living now. I wonder where Kaya gets all that money for her outrageously expensive shopping trips. All those rings that she has on her fingers. My husband worked. So did I. What does her husband do? What does Terence do? Is he qualified to do anything other than the job he used to do? And you? You've shown you're not much better than him, Kaya. All we hear is, he picked you up from the floor. He picked you up from the floor. He picked you up from the floor. That kid he was convicted of sexually abusing didn't pick her up from the floor, did he? Or maybe he did. And then he screwed her and passed her on. He says that um, she, you know, used that way of life. She's done it time and again. Maybe 199 men. Maybe you were the 200th. You could have been the straw that broke the camel's back, couldn't you? Or you could have chosen to be her salvation. chose not to and you don't see anything wrong in what you were doing from your attitudes on uh, what's stream from your attitude Kaya when you've spoken on your own channel I see no evidence that either of you are well you don't see anything wrong in it do you and so I'm wondering if your lifestyle choice is to carry on doing what you feel is a job of work i.e. directing traffic abusing stock in other words vulnerable children tell me it's not true 